I always start saying that uh, I work in a ship that doesn't sail. So starting from that comes all the questions. I had an uncle of mine at sea, he was an engineer. So when I grew up, I thought, you know, go and see the world. And the easiest way to see the world is join sea. You know? When Accelerate built the, these vessels, they had seen, forecasted much into the, into the beyond the horizon what the, the need will be in, in the future for, for, for natural gas. The first time I came here, it was a big, big jungle. This was supposed to be finished to receive the exemplar and to commission a, a brand new pipe. But uh, everything was built in nine months, no more than that. The vessel arrived on, on May 2011. And on next Saturday, we started uh, sending gas to the pipe. So it was uh, really fast and uh, smooth commissioning. See how you know, the project evolved you know, in a, such a very short period of time. I was able to see projects developing when I started one year ago. They always think in that time, I like, like the captains in the movies, being a pilot or something like that. And when they come to see me here, they realize that it's not like that. I'm coming from a seaman family. My father and grandfather were seamen. And since I was a kid, I was interested in the sea. LNG is natural gas, but converted into liquid. 97% about is methane, so it is pure gas. How you convert it from natural gas into a liquid? By cooling it, taking it to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Having the natural gas transformed into liquid, it is much easier to transport it from one side to another side all over the world. But also, it's safer and less expensive. This is a carrier, so this is a way of transport also a storage and this is a producer so we have three really important uh, function in only one unit FSRU stands for floating storage regasification unit which is an LNGC with a regasification plant on board the location of Escobar LNG terminal was considering the proximity to the most important demand center in Argentina, that's Buenos Aires and Great Buenos Aires. The importance of having these LNG terminals is to provide big additional capacity of natural gas and also to provide storage capacity of LNG. The demand is not only residential segment, it's also thermal power plants, it's industries and also CNG. Normal routes in the case from Trinidad is coming by Atlantic, the same as the one we're coming from Nigeria, which is Atlantic uh, Ocean. YPF and Accelerate are both a Class A companies, but it doesn't mean that these Class A companies could develop a project in time and shape. But this was an excellent example of how two companies working together and in a joint effort were able to develop in time and manner and effectively. It's a very simple and seamless operation. Now the SGS is going on now, and it is going through a total hermetic system. We don't see the cargo. I'm in charge of the cargo operation. Anything related to the loading the gas, discharging the gas, starting the equipment, stopping the equipment, making the tests, anything related to the cargo operations is my business. Aquí nos encontramos en la sala de control de máquinas. Desde aquí se supervisan muchos elementos que respectan al, al control, a la supervisión y al mantenimiento del barco. Como ustedes sabrán, esta es una planta propulsora a vapor, el cual está compuesta por dos calderas principales que generan vapor a alta presión y a una alta temperatura. Ese vapor es suministrado, en nuestro caso, a turbos alternadores, que, es lo que son los que generan la electricidad para todo el barco. Esa electricidad sirve, como ustedes podrán ver, para la iluminación, para la puesta en marcha de las bombas, para el sistema del regás y para el sistema de la carga del barco ejemplo. El transporte del gas metano se realiza en estado líquido a una temperatura de menos 160 grados 
es una temperatura criogénica, el cual es necesario la construcción de tanques con unos aceros inoxidables especiales que puedan soportar esa temperatura por debajo de lo menos 160 grados. For the whole transportation, from the ship to ship, it takes about 24 to 36 hours. There is no uh, release of any hydrocarbons or the LNG into the atmosphere. We are a human link between the, the vessel and the terminal. Well, the vessel and the YPF control room were together almost high by hand because they are the receivers of uh, our product. Now their main function is to operate the pipe and of course the distribution. The gas goes to the, to the main net and from the main net uh, it goes to every Argentinian home. This is one of the most sophisticated ships uh, exists. They are all apprentices because this is a new thing, this is a new way of providing energy. Eight years in operations of this kind of ships, I can say that we have a lot of uh, experienced operators. The learning process is gradual and continuous, never-ending learning. Gente proveniente de la Argentina, gente proveniente de Ucrania, gente proveniente de Jamaica, de Filipinas, o sea que hay una rica mezcla de culturas a bordo. All these people go into the same kind of training. When they come on board, they, they become one unit no matter what language they speak. Beyond that, there's another common language, that's competence, respect to each other. So you speak the language of Accelerate. The Escobar LNG terminal was configured taking in, into account all the uh, regulations in Argentina, not only the technical regulations but also the environmental regulations and safety, of course. Always take care for where, uh, what you are doing, where you are carrying and uh, follow the procedures for the personal protective equipment. La seguridad es lo más relevante, eh, especialmente en la maniobra de atraque o desatraque. Es, eh, es el factor número uno, seguridad. If you look at the, the history of, of uh, LNG, the transportation, and the ships which is involved, and the person which is involved, it is one of the safest means of transportation we have on board. It's because the safety standard, the security standard is very high. Uh, your safety is in my responsibility. Siempre se hace hincapié en la seguridad. You just have to look at it to see how serious and how committed is are all the parties regarding to, to safety. Es el barco 105 que se ha cargado acá en el puerto de Escobar. Ningún número va a ser suficiente para decir, ah, relax, esto anda solo. No, no. LNG, for us, stands for, let's not guess. There's no guesswork here. Our job is to serve the community and to provide an important product for them to use. Accelerate is the first one performing and have most experience in these uh, operations and uh, was the pioneer bringing this uh, operation to this country. Is the leader and writing all the manuals for everybody. Now I'm, I'm running a shuttle. This is a 21th century uh, technology. We accelerate every, every venture we do. And they went and built the first generation. Now we have the second generation vessel and the third generation is coming out. Accelerate provides an energy solution really effective and fast for a, for a big demand, for a continuous increasing demand. Celet is recognized as a leader in this industry because manages the most advanced technologically regasification units in the world. A 
and also holds the most important fleet of FSRUs in the world.